there was something very just not right with the family. Yeah. So how can you bring a woman who's of your age to sleep with your son in your house as a mother? How do you do that? So this protection, how do you get protected? You say, you know, you have to go and see a Sangoma. You have to go and see uh, a witch doctor, a Mganga. Mwenyata kupika, kupike, akupike, upikike, upikike, ndiyo. Mwana umeote kwanza kikuona, watakufia hapo. The other thing, mainly, ata it's for protection, for your own protection. You say there's do's and lots in this country. You can just come, wanze tukufanyi umalaya hapa. And I was like, you know what, you guys watch too many movies. Come back to watch any mchezo. I'm like, no. I remember when Venya Likuja Kanipata Poko Kitanda with the blood everywhere. Alisema, they've already used this one. Hey, me, I remember I could hear them on the background. So I was sick. Who are they talking about? Wakasema, ah, uyu, ametumiwa. They've used this one for rituals. What? Hello, welcome to Tuko Talks. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, for hundreds of Kenyan women who want the easy way out, Nigeria is the place to be. The thought that Nigerian men can give them the world is mind-boggling. My guest today went there and came out with nothing. And she's here to share her story. And so, without further ado, please allow me to let her introduce herself. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, mommy. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? I'm fine. You I'm look fine. lovely. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you so introduce much. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Jane Mwangi, yeah. or you can call me Mary Jane. <laughs> That's the name a lot of people know me with. Yeah. And um, I'm a mom. I'm a mom of three. You are a mom of three. Yes, I am. All right. And um, I'm a businesswoman. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a businesswoman. I come from a family of five. Mm -hmm. I'm the firstborn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I know uh, the reason we are sitting here today is because your story in Nigeria is something else. Yeah, You've it is. You've been inside the brothels. You've gone through uh, Zinaitangwa rituals, the yeah. rituals here. Uh, but before mm. we get to that point, I want my audience to, you know, the back of your story. Okay. So if you could take us through your story growing up, how was life like? Um, growing up for me, it wasn't easy at all, at all. Um, I grew up in a broken home, meaning my mom had me, then she got married again. And uh, she had like two, uh, my siblings, my two siblings, mm -hmm. then she got married again, uh, she got married again, then it's been, it, it wasn't fun at all mm -hmm. because I went through a lot. She was in a very violent relationship. Her relationships were very, very violent and it caused a lot of trauma. As a child, you'll not be able to understand uh, um, some things. Mm. And um, the violence. It was very, very bad. Very bad. Mm. I grew up in trauma and it wasn't just fun. It wasn't fun at mm -hmm. all, at all, at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I grew mm -hmm. up in a, with a lot of pain, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, she started drinking as well, bringing people to the house, mm -hmm. and it got By ugly, men, men yeah. and it got ugly at some point that I don't really want to get into details, yeah, but please. because I've forgiven her and it's life. Pia ni mekuja kwa understand, pia ali kwa victim. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Pia ali kwa victim and I've let go. Yeah. But it really affected me growing up. You understand my decisions, the decisions I made, mm. the, the way I saw life, my relationships. You understand? I, I, I think I got in relationships. I used to get into relations for all the wrong reasons. Mm. Sababu I didn't have guidance and that kind of thing. So yeah, I got pregnant when I was 17, I think. Okay. Yeah, the first man who told me, I love you. Hey, I was 
nilikuwa ile I'm ready to get married. So, All I ever wanted was a home to be loved for somebody to tell me I love you and to take away my pains that I grew up with. So the first man when I compare comfort kidogo, I just got I was a virgin actually. Wow. Yeah, then I got pregnant. And <laughs> by then everybody was calling just a boat, a boat, a boat, but I, I I didn't have the strength to do it. And so, you wanted to keep your baby? Yes, I wanted to keep my baby. I wanted a husband. I wanted a home. No, no, the way people used to think like, um, if I grow up, I want to be something. I mean, I only wanted a home. I only, I only wanted to be loved, to love someone, to have a concrete home, a home that I never had since mm. childhood. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm. So eventually it didn't work out. And I got as I was pregnant, yeah. he, he was Arab and there were so many differences between us. He was Muslim, I was Christian. Was his it family. in Nairobi? Yes, he was here in Nairobi. Yeah. And we were not even in that kind of relationship, like a very deep relationship. I was just very young, very naive. You understand? Yeah. So as I was pregnant, I met somebody else as I was pregnant. Okay. Yeah, I met somebody else. And Ile, he showed me so much love yeah. at the moment. Yeah. And I was pregnant. I was like, whoa, does, do this, does this kind of love exist? He offered you understand? You comfort. Yeah, he offered me comfort. And shelter. Yeah. Wow. And he was also young too as well. He was in university by then. I remember he went home and told his parents that he got a girl pregnant. And she knew, and I was like, but so me to me, I love ni Romeo and Juliet style. Yes. I'm like, yo, I, I, it I've can't arrived. go. I've yeah. arrived. This is what I really want in life. I want to belong somewhere. I want to unelewa. Yes. So boy, I remember at high school, at some point I didn't have anywhere to live. I was having my mom, and I, but then my mom used to take resp her responsibilities at an Ilipia Shule. There's mm -hmm. no one day, Ilif Kuzwa Shule, mm. and she'll do me a, a very big shopping. Nikenda Shule, what one on a umsen ametoka, ametoka, my shangine, ame o ame omoka ku omoka. Like in it, I was praying, Kila Siku, Staki Kufungwa Shule. I don't want to close, I mean, close to close. Because you don't want to go because home. Because I don't want to go home. Because I don't, I practically don't have even a home to go to. Nilikuwa nafunga shule, nenda kwa anti yangu, nenda suju wapi, nenda wapi. And in between that, that's when I met the guy who got me pregnant. Mm -hmm. And you understand? Yes. That is why I used to did say... Did you finish school? Yes, I oh, did. Okay. I did, by God's grace, I yeah. did. But uh, with a lot of difficulties, actually. I did my form for when pregnant. Yeah. So... Uh, fast forward to this other guy now. So uh, this guy um, that I met, so he proposed to me as I was pregnant. The normal proposal, like a ring. Yeah, proposal. yeah, yeah. He he okay. knelt down and proposed to me. Okay. So I was like, yo, and he knows the child is not his. You yeah. understand that yeah. kind of thing? I was like, I will die here. I will die for this marriage. Lazima, lazima, this marriage mm. works. Mm. And Pia nilikuwa na ile trauma because of my past with my mom. I really wanted a home to prove her like I can have uh, my home. And I, I will not. Fast yes, I will not go through what my mom went through. Mm -hmm. So this is my chance to at least have a home again. But where? Hey, hey. But Sasa, it, it was from a small frying pan to the fire. Yeah, to the fire. With this guy now. To this, with this guy now. Mm. It was so bad. What was bad about I, it? I stayed in the relationship for seven years and it was hell. It was hell. Number one, the guy that he, he came from, he was an only son in a family in the family and the, it was an well up family mm. and uh unajua kuna ile protectiveness mother in laws when they have one son and all this that 
kind of protectiveness they yes. protect their sons and mm -hmm. that kind of thing mm -hmm. but he happened to be you know when I say maga wale vijana wametoka family ya moja moja they don't work hard they don't sababu wanaona their life is set maybe their parents have already uh, established them yeah. and all so they don't really have to work hard and, and him yeah and him he was one of those guys hataki kufanya kazi hataki because the parents had given her him a house you understand hataki kufanya a job and all and for some reasons uh, well, i don't blame the parents what on ni mimi ndio fault you understand they will maybe look at me like you're the one who's making our son you not are influencing to him yes, yes yes you understand mm -hmm. and it was on the contrary me, me, me i was very I'm those guys that I don't really care about money I, when it comes to relationships. I don't look at money, some of all the things that I've gone through in my life and all. Money is not, uh, of course, everybody loves money, but yeah. you see priority. Kwangu. So the relationship, when you have it was so violent. Mm -hmm. Very, very violent. And Mimi, to my thinking, because I was still young, I was still approaching my 20, uh, 20 years. And yeah, me, to my thinking, I was like, this is what I grew up with, seeing my mom being beaten every day. So I was like, this is the way marriage is supposed to be. Unelewa, nilikuwa ile like kuchapwa si big deal, kinikama kila mtu yu uchapwa in their marriage. Yeah. So it's not a big deal. Damn. So si nikendelea kukapo. Nikichapwa kila siku, mtu anenda na kunywa, anakuja, ananichapa. And nashikilia hiyo ndoa because I don't want to end up like my mom. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to break those ties. Iso, iso, so, iso, iso generation. Yeah, iso classes, generation. Iso. Nini, nini, mie, yeah. apana. Nikiangalia nsuma wacha tu nivumilia hii marriage yangu. Then I now got pregnant again. That was after around Kito five years. Mm. And before I, I got pregnant, my family and all, I got an invite to mm. Germany mm. to visit my aunt, who we were very, very close. She got married in Germany and mm. she invited me. And when she invited me, Akuna mtu alikuwa nirudi. Nirudi, Kenya and all. Everybody wanted like for me to establish myself in uh, yes. there yeah. and all. Huyu kijana nikiwa uko. Atacha nifanye kazi. We siku moja akamka nikapata ameandika jina yangu ameenda amefanya tattoo kwa jina akanitumia video baby do you see the way i love you i've been tattooed hey nikajua wewe you know they used to ask what is the most stupidest thing you've done in relationship mimi i flew all the way from germany to kenya Just for a man because of a tattoo for a man <laughs> yes yes for a man were you in germany with your kid no yeah. no i was alone where had you left your baby oh with my mom okay and yeah. were you pregnant at this point no no germany? i was not even okay. pregnant so now i had a chance now by then i had a chance to start my life sla my, my to start clean. a clean slate, a clean slate. Kabisa. Uh -huh. but Eleven and Leona tattoo, and this is the love. Yani, I right, uh, right now, Johnny Makuza could realize when you don't get love from your parents, which is at and you're saying, it's very important for uh, parents to tell their kids, I love you, to show your kids love. Because if you don't, they'll look for love in all the wrong places. Yes. Me, Mrs. Ali, Fania tattoo, can you You know, I, I will die without you. Juni, I can Akandika po Jane, Siju, I love. Hey. When I was in the next flight. You want to come back home? I want to come back home to, to my, my marriage, man. to my man. I don't want to have that history. I, I, I was with this one, I was with this one. I want to come back home. Nika chukua ndege ni Karudi. Kurudi? Kurudi? Guess what? The, the guy had a cousin. Mtu alikuwa nishinda kisema tini cousin, ni cousin, ni cousin. Do you know she was pregnant for him? Oh, the cousin. Yes, quotes. the cousin. Yes. In court. Yeah. She was pregnant for him. <laughs> so that was the first shock on my face when I got here. Mm -hmm. I was like, why, why is it that you told me to come back? And you know, ukona mtu, ata mtu meka mimba, unanyambea ni cousin yako, mnaishi na ye, because they, they used to have very many businesses, they used to live with a lot of people in their home, wanawafanya kazi, unelewa, in their salon, and also she happened to be working in a salon. Mm -hmm. And I had known her from the word go. You understand? Even she was there when I got uh, with my baby, and all, we were very good friends. Yes. Kijana kakuja, kanibembeleza, kanibembeleza. Nika ingia box. Nika ingia box tena. 
nikaingia box tena by the way I was, mm-hmm. i'm such a hopeless romantic ah, god <laughs> nikaingia nikaingia box tena sasa ndio tukachukuaona sasa tuko sasa tukaanza kuishi pamoja sasa vizuri you understand ha, oh god do you know in that relationship it was a seven years relationship the guy had made like four guys four girls pregnant in the relationship and you still stayed and i'm still staying eventually i remember when i walked away i was pregnant i was very pregnant like around seven months heavy and mama ke by the way alikuja kwa nyumba i can remember very well the mom came in my house with another girl who was pregnant at that point again akanyambia this is the new wife and i'm like seven and a half months pregnant remember this is a new wife uh it's best uh, and he was sitting there but the mama kamuliza kamuliza between the two of them who do you want akasema i want her but i also want her too mimi kusikia hivyo i was almost i wanted to kill myself Niki imagine all the sacrifices I've made na, over to this guy. Mbaka tunakaa tunakula chumvi na ugali. Nimetoka Germany. Nime hey. Such a disappointment. Nikasema by the way God give me strength and I walked away when I was pregnant. Wow. And I went home nikaenda ushago. Kwenda ushago I remember akukua na mtu ushago I was living in a whole compound alone. Hakuna mtu wa gate, hakuna anyone in, and Eventually mbaka nikapata um, I got now my son and you understand. Yeah. Nikiwa tu like uh, in the marriage and all unajua I had not experienced ile kupati and all since when I started life. Yes. I skipped that part. Yeah. I never enjoyed myself. I never sikwa in a club. I, I never I never did anything. Mm. So ile when my marriage ended something in me just click like lily i want to be a bad girl now this is now after you gave birth yes. to your son yes. your second born yes uh-huh. which was also very difficult sababu ile nikajaribu kusimama na watu wawili napata na rudi pia sababu because of the t- uh, ch- uh, children and all but eventually i was able to just let go of yes. that marriage because yeah. it was a very toxic toxic marriage yeah toxic marriage mm-hmm. and the parents also when you are mlea wewe kijana i don't understand because yeah. i don't understand how you can bring as a parent you bring a woman, woman and tell your son a woman who's almost your age mtu hata si age ya woman sana au wao kijana wake na it's not the first time there was something very just not right with the family yeah. so how can you bring a woman who's of your age to sleep with your son in your house as a mother How do you do that? Mm. Unaelewa? Yeah. Kuna kitu that was just off about the family. Nikasema let me just move on with life, you know. Mm-hmm. And and all. So, uh, so now bad girl mood is a Eh, hey, mimi nikasema by the way, I've become nimekuwa mzuri sana. Like I don't ask guys for money. I don't it's, it's only love that I'm after and, and this is what I've gotten. Afadhali hata wale wasiana wazuri by the way. They end up with better husband. They wale wabaya. Wale wabaya. Yes. So I was like, you know what? I'm done being good. I don't want to be good again. <laughs> I don't want to be good again. Mm. So, you know, um I started now going out in in town like in is it to club club and all. Hata kabla sijaanza hata kuingia mizizi, hata hata sija nini, another guy came up. This time round he was a Nigerian. He was a Nigerian. Mimi si kwa ifu believe in all those things love at first sight. Hey, this guy, I felt hard him too, I guess. At some point he fell really hard and um we became very close and he also proposed to me. You understand? And I was like, Are you, you know what? You have kids. Yes. You, ha- you you've laid out your entire Yes. I I I nimeanikia kila kitu by the way my life has always been an open book because I don't feel like kuna vitu zingine tuna feature there's no there's nothing too much. Unaelewa? Ukifikiria your situation is too much you will now sasa utenda usikie stories zingine you know you are better. Exactly. And I don't care about what people will think especially when it comes to my kids and all. Wasema it's mistakes but mimi 
nilikuwa na courage to keep them. There are some people who have aborted that are five children. You understand? You kept the only yours. difference between me and them is that I kept mine. Yeah. You understand? And they are my pride. So I told the guy the truth uh, from beginning. I have Nikona Watoto and all. Like I remember, I don't care about that. Mm. I really like you, the person you are. And I was really there for him, uh, him too. You understand? Mm. Eventually, he proposed to Kanza Kwishi Pamoja. So I was living in Lavington. Uh, then, Sikutaka, by the way, I didn't want to live there. Why? Because I felt it's such an expensive lifestyle that I don't want. But he's I giving did not it want, to you. But he was, he wanted to give it, the, but Naskia, we are not established. I felt like we don't have that kind of money oh. to start wasting in 70,000 house. And you understand? Yeah. And um, um, we, we want to start a family. I have kids and... Is sina pesa ya kuwist, staki yo pesa ya kuwist. Mimi am the good girl. I used to be... <laughs> Ushua na mwanaume ya nakupeleka kwa nyumba nzuri, ya you sit here. Eno unawambia pana, unataka ile nyumba. Because, because you're thinking about your future. And your kids. And my kids, and all that. Mm. But I insist, I insist. And then, nili kwa nafanya biashara. Um, I done. I started my business way, way back then. What Kuza. Business, I sell shoes, bags, clothes, jewelry, all that. Nalikuwa nafanya online. And my business was doing so well at some point when I was with this Nigerian. Mm. I used to see money, take care of my bills, my kids. Was he giving you kids. the capital for your business? No. Where did you get the no, capital? No, the capital, before I even met him, I was in the business. Eh. You understand? Uh -huh. Before I to Juane, yeah, you were badon, established. Eh, badon so this is where you're getting online. the money to party? Yeah. Okay. So eventually, uh, I stayed in the marriage and also it turned out to be an... It didn't turn out to be a good one mm. as well. Sababu, mm. somebody mtu anataka ende B club kila siku, ende club kila siku, I'm not supposed to ask any questions and all. By the way, <laughs> Iyo marriage ya wa Nigeria, people need to reevaluate it. Sababu, watu wengi, they get married because of money. They marry these Nigerians because of money. Mm. And wakikupatia nyumba and all, you're supposed to keep quiet. You're supposed to keep quiet and allow the man to do whatever he wishes. At I, when I, w I was talking to his parents, to his people, to his sisters uh, in Nigeria when we have issues, walikuwa niuliza, anakulipea rent, eh. Unakula, eh. So what's the problem? <laughs> Unashindua. Mm. Is that all there is to eat to, to marriage? Yeah, yeah. So eventually his business got very bad. What was his business? Because uh, here's the thing. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of them will come to the country. Yeah. And I have, no, I have nothing against Nigerian men. But they are in business, but they never tell you exactly what they are doing. They are not accountants, lawyers. ABC, so what was his business? You know, I'm, to you. I'm going to tell this openly, mm. and I, d I don't want to sound like a snitch, like I'm, I'm, I'm snitching on them and all. If I was Nigerian and I'll say this thing, I couldn't have to any judge. Like, maybe because I'm Kenyan and I'll say it openly, yeah. it, will, it will cause some controversy mm. and that kind of thing. But mm -hmm. I, uh, the business he was doing, he was online, he, 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 he was into fraud, I'll be honest with you. He was into fraud. I know he's the father of my child, but um, you know, it happens. These things happen. I have reasons why I, I must talk about it, about what he does. Mm. And in the beginning when I met him, he wasn't open. I didn't know. I, I didn't know this is what he does. So where did you think the money and the good he house always, was coming he from? He always tell him, he always told me he's, he sells Bitcoin. <laughs> he, you, you know, he yes. always t gave me stories of uh, you. So Sikwaile, I was not really keen. Remember, I'm still a bit naive, yeah. Bado. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay, as long as he's bringing money, Let's do it. Yeah, we move. Yes, we move. <laughs> we move. Where the money resides. <laughs> yeah, where the money resides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we move. Yeah. <laughs> but 
eventually ndio nikakuja nikajua like uh, he's into some things and he now pulled me into those things that got me in a lot a lot of trouble mm -hmm. sababu at some point he was using my bank accounts and my i used to collect money for him in western union at some point back and nini passport yangu it was bad in western union my id it was bad i can't collect money from western union again mm. at some point the bank even called me sat me down started questioning me where are you getting this money and all they started putting like one eyes plus one, one plus one together i was in trouble mm. at some point yeah and and you nika kuja ku realize like you know what he's using me he's using me and this is something that every kenyan girl hakuna like, mnigeria atakuwa na wewe na kutumi one way or the other lazima ikuwe they'll get something from me either uko na msaidia transaction ama uko na msaidia you understand hakuna mtu atakuja tu hapo at you my this is my girlfriend and they are not doing it. and you know what kama ni mtu anakupenda they will not put you in that risk they will not put you in a risk that pesa imeibiwa sijui nini imewekwa kwa account yako in case that in the people contact interpol and all wewe ndio utashikwa yes and it happens it happens kenyan girls fall prey mtu amekuachia hapo ma bills manini in serious trouble and all he has to do is go to the airport with his passport i end in nigeria how are you going to find that person ever again you are stuck with the problem na uko hapo juu ya mapenzi uko tu hapo unafikiria ni mapenzi but you know what mtu anakupatia anakupenda hata kuweka kwa hiyo risk mm -hmm. so it was like you know i started now re evaluating my relationship i was like no and sasa ikafika point akasota akakuwa na pesa kabisa online imekata online imekata wazungu wamekata kutuma pesa eh, eh? <laughs> wazungu wamekata kutuma pesa huko mm tukumengea areas kwa nyumba nyumba yenye nilikuwa namkataza don't 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 so now i started taking money from my business wow hebu niambie utalipa siku ngapi 70000 you have like 2 3 months areas of 70000 rent then you have you you have responsibility na niwe peke yako from the business if you take that kind of money from a business will it survive and your kids want to eat yeah. they want school they yeah. want everything ilifika point mimi ndo ndio breadwinner yes. kwa nyumba yeah mimi sasa ndio niende na sasa hiyo niko na mimba i already, already fell pregnant again oh, man. so nichukue bags nichukue juniko online nichukue sandals zangu nichukue bags zangu niweke kwa mgongo na mimba yangu niende town nishinde huko nikihoka na sasa unaishi nyumba ya 70000 na mtu hataki kuhama sababu hataki kuhama ndio uh, because ako ili afraid of the status you know mm. ashaonyesha watu like his friends mm. no now we live in lovington and that you cool. know that fake life yeah which mimi nilimwambia from beginning but also I why are you this. also not living why are you not leaving him hapo na hizo shida oh you are in love yes i was in love and i was pregnant amen i was pregnant Catch. Oh, wow. You understand I was not pregnant again I was yeah. like oh my god what feel, is my life turning into I feel into? like every time you got pregnant that's when the world would yeah. turn upside down Yeah for you. Yeah and ikafika point lean nikaingia madeni nikakopa mapesa nikipatia mwanaume mara niambia watu wao sijui wamefanya sijui nini nini <laughs> eh hey, naenda mimi naenda uko na kopa pesa Nachukua pesa mpaka za chama huko nampatia. Nachukua huko pesa sijui za hey. Nampatia. Kuangalia hivi before I knew it nimeingia debts za I have niko na deni ya 400,000 za watu. And at this point I'm like hapana. Wacha tu hata kama ndambua mimi single mama nime nime hapana. Say so, wacha tu ikae. I have to go. I have to go. For my own sanity na pia alikuwa very violent and manipulative and what do you expect from somebody who lies for, for for a living and there was something so strange in that relationship by the way in that relationship nilikuwa na notice vitu zingine but ile naivity na ignore let me ask you something mm. jane are you talking to your family are you confiding in your aunt your mom like mom i'm going through this in my marriage what should i do or um, your aunt Um yes my aunts both of my aunts I have an aunt in South Africa yeah. I have another my aunt who called me in Germany yes. we are very very close and they've tried to be there for me 
they've tried to be there for me to some extent. So at least you had someone to talk to. Yes, I had somebody to talk I to. I sent a but. but. What's yes, the but? but the, um, the but is you, they are very far away, you understand, and they have their own lives, they are living their own lives. Do you think uh, you became a burden? Yes, to some okay. point. I okay. felt like I'm a burden, okay. like my kids are also a burden, and yeah, right. that's the way I felt. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, concerning my mom, we didn't have, uh, we don't have a good relationship because of my even childhood. Now? Even now, I'm okay. sorry to say, mm. because of my childhood and everything I went mm. through. My childhood, I nearly took a to Nikiwa closet. I was closet and I moved away from home because of all these drama. issues and drama and guys. I don't know what. And since then, I've never been home. Okay. So I was all by myself, kwa streets, nikifunga shule, naseba, I'll go to this, my uncle. If I, nikifunga shule, I'm like, where am I going to go? <laughs> you can't. Mm. So, I, it, it wasn't easy. a good, yeah, it all wasn't right. easy. So now you, you, this Nigerian marriage is also failing? Yes, and you've it's decided failing. You, you are full of debts, yeah. and now it's time for me to... Let it go. Yeah, okay. eventually, nikasema, let me go move back to a small house. Let me move back to a small house and try to survive. Do you know I had to sit down and make a decision? I'm like, you know what? I don't want to go to the streets. I don't want to go to kwa kwa bani and kupata kufanya vitu zingine because of money. Because I've never done that really. Even mm. the time that I tried, I met with this Nigeria and Pierre mm. Kanichipo. Mm. So <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I don't want to go back to live a certain lifestyle. The only thing I have is my business. And my business has failed. Sababu after nimemaliza biashara yangu with this Nigerian uh, practically mpaka hata nikizaa mimi ndo nilijilipia hospitali nikajilipia mpaka everything hmm? his help was very little and uh, uh, bado nilikuwa tu ile understanding because nilikuwa najua hana pesa then but it weighed me down mm. a lot mm it weighed me down a lot. So I, I sat down, I'm like, you know what? The only thing I have that I know I can genuinely get money from is my business. And Nilikuwa Najua, my business can take care of my bills, my kids with ease. I will not sit a suffer evil when I have biashara yangu. So Nikaka Nikasema, you know what? I'm going to go to Nigeria for my business. Because then before, Nilikuwa Nalete Wavitu from Nigeria, but Eventually, the person who was sending me these things, Akaanza Kukwa, is faithful, and that's when my business was even finishing. So you I needed to go get the yes, things for yourself. Yes, Nikasema by the way, you Nigeria Simbali Sana. Well, let me go there and see so that I make my own contacts, business contacts. I don't want to start begging people, hey, go and buy for me. Mm. I will not get even my full profits mm -hmm. from something. Mm. You know what? I'm cutting all these people off. I need to go to Nigeria, get my own contacts, my business contacts, my business to stand. Mm. You get, I, yes. I had a plan. I had a plan. Nikauza kila kitu kwa nyumba, like the, the little things that I had yeah. in the house, I sold. I still went and took another loan, another small loan mm. to be able to buy goods. Yes. So be in two weeks, me nika, nika you your, baby with? your mm. babies with? I left my babies with, I'll mm. be very honest yes. when it comes to this. Yes. My, um, my aunt, I had an aunt that I left my babies with. Mm -hmm. Because in my thinking, in two weeks, I'll be back. It was only meant to be a two weeks. Uh, uh, trip. A trip. So you packed Atani your babies kwa, yeah. and you took them to your house. Yeah. Little did I know, two weeks, it will turn out to be two years. I didn't know it, it will turn out to be two years. Mm. Na kabla niendeo Nigeria, I sat down. I was like, what is happening to my life? Nimejaribu kuoleka sa hizi marangapi haifani. Tatu. Nimejaribu ku... Eh? Every time na mimi ni wale wanawake wa kuvumilia kwa ndoa nimevumilia mpaka nakula chumvi huko nakata sina tanguo ile tu bado I'm faithful I never look outside I never do anything niko tu hapo I'm like what is happening to my life these things are not normal this is not a normal thing so one of the reasons why I went to Nigeria was business 
the other reason was like I want to find out what is wrong with me juju Eva, by then it was ready. Nikwa nimesema Eva juju Eva kanisa ama nini nini these curses upon me I can't do this. Mm-hmm. Juni ilikuwa na face risk some kind of rejection, some kind of shame, humiliation kila saa kuchukiwa na watu. And now I looked back at my mom's life. My life is unfolding just to be as like hers mm. and it's what i and that's what you are running away that is from. what i've been running away from that's exactly. what you know kitu i started wanting to get married mm-hmm. to have a marriage at a very young age mm-hmm. because it, that's all i wanted in life mm. let me ask you something mm. w- w- this this decision for you to go to nigeria and even look for juju mm. who influenced it where did it was not necessarily it? juju yes. i would say yeah. because in the beginning i thought that nilikuwa um, nasikia they are very powerful okay. men of god me and my family i grew up in a christian home sijawahi ataona juju or all those okay. things i've never experienced them but you whatsoever well that nigeria is the place but nilikuwa nasikia nigeria kuna watu huko okay wanaweza saidia mtu wakikushika tu hivi unaomoka eh, eh. but nilikuwa zile a bit skeptical as well sababu mizo vitu i don't believe in them okay I don't really believe in them because no na nika movie mtu akiniambia I don't know juju I was like you you watch too much movies <laughs> you can't so eventually I packed my shit and went to Nigeria went to Nigeria uh-huh. nika ka kwa hotel and I made friends I made friends with a girl me I'm a very friendly person so eventually I was like hi hey, you're from Kenya they love Kenyans they love foreigners generally if you are foreign na uko yani unaonekana ni kama umetoka maju mhm i got so many marriage proposals nikiwa huko i got so many marriage proposals nikiwa huko mtu anaona ni kama ndampe green card ni kama ndampati a green card but you know <laughs> so i made so many friends I made I mean I made friends with this particular girl in the hotel mm. that I was staying. Mm. Nikamwambia you know what I need this and this and I can't you know I even have somebody who can help you with that you know like can help you go to the market and all. Nikasema <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. so the first time to kind in the market it's a very very big market. It's a very big market it's worse than Kikomba is yeah. really combined. Yeah. It's that big. It's that big mm-hmm. and crowded very crowded by the way you can't just go there without a guide yes i later came to realize by the way <laughs> nigeria is not a normal place the way we view life here nigeria sivenye watu fikiria so the first day we went to kanunua vitu and all so i used to just go to the market buy things i keep it in the hotel buy things i keep it in the hotel for a whole week it was then in the weekend um out the girl will take me out yeah. and all will go to the beach they have very beautiful beaches mm. then the next day ndanza kwenda market again i'll start going and mm. the market is hectic a lot so eventually mimi nikapack vitu zangu zote and all worth around say 400 500,000 hivi mm. nikapack vitu zangu zote po, 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 nikapack hapo kwa room siku ikafika like i'm supposed to go home in a few days So I'm supposed to ship these things. So nikachukua vitu akanyambia you know what I know an office in that Balogun market. Maka wameka hizo stickers and all I went to the office previously. Niko nao they have it's a full office. Kuna stickers maka za the freight they, they are doing the nini his uh, where they are shipping the goods and all I spoke to somebody akanyambia you know I even paid for the shipping. I paid for the shipping. Nikachukua mzigo zangu zote nikampatia ni, nikawapatia little did i know it's a fake shipping company do you know i went back there the following day akukwata na ofisi by the way <laughs> akukwata na ofisi uliko mechezo akukwata na ofisi the office was empty and asking around asking around wakanyambia you know it's like uh, these people rented out this place for a week but they went nilikuwa zile za what are you telling me Hey, what are you telling me? Si nikarudi kwa kwa hotel. Yeah. And hiyo sasa ni it's like two days. Ndio inafaa nirudi. I'm like what am I going to do? And the girl? The girl was still there with me. Ile ana ana she was like 
helping trying to help me out ni kama anajaribu kunisaidia oh, how I'm going to recover like she doesn't yes, know acting like she doesn't know boy nikaenda nika report to police station by the way I reported the incident the owner of the hotel by the way akakuja akaniona nikamu explain here he felt so sorry for me he felt so sorry for me akanyambia don't worry akani comfort akanipatia side like a few days for mm. free mm. in the hotel kama mm. don't have to pay for this and all this the whole time this girl was there do you know the following day also i woke up nikapata unisena amenibia bag and in that bag my phone my passport kila kitu na ameenda wapi ame disappear but i've never met that girl again so your passport is gone so my passport is gone your phone is gone my uh, phone na kenyan line with my details everything is mm, gone mm. my stock is gone i'm literally like this without no money because i've spent all my money in my goods yes now nimepatiwa like a few days for free in the hotel so i'm on the verge of being stranded <laughs> lin nikikumbuka what i've been through in kenya na madeni zinaningoja Kenya kwa pesa za watu nimekopa na hii stock ndio ilikuwa iko na hii stock ndio ilikuwa ni okole ni vifue biashara yangu ukaju boy i was like oh god what am i going to do mm-hmm. nitafanya nini nitarudiaje nyumbani mm. nimeuza vitu zangu zote mpaka za nyumba how am i going to go home with nothing with people's debts i feel you do you married me kata i know i'm like you know what i can't go back home with nothing i don't know how to go back home with nothing i have to make it work lazima ni tafute pesa anyway je you think because i don't have a choice ngangalia watoto watatu ndio hiyo biashara yangu hakuna nini narudi nyumbani nifanye nika kama hivi nikasema by the way hata nikirudi nyumbani ndaenda up tu kufanya hiyo malai I'll still end up doing something that I, I don't want to because if I don't have work how am I going to sustain myself Sorry, and my kids So si afadhali nifanyie huko mali ni mbali hata kuna watu wataniona na wakujui na wanijui anyway yeah. So si msichana mmoja hapo Enol akanyonyesha uh, one of the girls akanyambia you know what you can make money you can make money. wewe na and you are a Kenyan hey, you will make a lot of money eventually hizo siku zenye nilikuwa nimewekwa kwa hoteli zikaisha kumsiana akanyambia you know what you can come and stay with me where i stay I was like okay nikapak tungo tonga hata siko nimebeba nguo nilikuwa nimebeba nguo juu ngapi za wiki mbili tu like very few things nikapak tu kwa kasut case kangu nikamfuata kumfuata si akanipeleka akanipeleka like in a house it was a very beautiful house actually it was a very beautiful house lakini kuingia ndani there are like 40 girls inside a bungalow like nine bedrooms so inside each bedroom there are like maybe two three depending sababu so you pay for the house you pay every week being in the house every monday you pay so kulingana na mfuko yako kama you have a lot of money you'll be given your own room if you don't have uh, money you'll join you'll like you'll share like two or three or four depending kama una pesa kuna sasa zile rooms za watu waona pesa kabisa so let me, let me put <laughs> this into perspective <laughs> ibu hii ni bungalow is it hii bungalow mm-hmm. if you rent a house mm-hmm. what are you renting a house for uh actually it was a brothel hmm. it was a brothel it's a brothel but a high end brothel you understand yeah So I literally didn't have a choice. So men would come in there. No 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 no. Eh? Men will not come. Yeah. But girls will go out. Men are not allowed. So how is it a brothel? You If go out. You in? you you suppose you go out the the madam of the house will give you guys. Okay. And the madam so of the, the madam house has connections. Yes, the madam has a lot of connections with a lot of big guys. So mtaitwa tu mwambie come and uh, you 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 understand God yes So when I I went there I was I was like you know what I have to do what I have to do for my kids I have to do what I have to do to survive These are things that I've ran away from them since I was childhood but you know what I'm here they've caught up with me Are you not 
you don't you have have you not memorized any number you can call back home? Of course, I'd memorized the number. But I you tried. still don't want to come back with yes. nothing. Yes. Yes. Rudivo, Lin. How do you come back home with nothing? Na ukona madeni, madeni za four five hundred thousand. Ukona watoi. Nimeenda biashara ni mekoni wa pesa zangu kila everything my last coin na ni pesa za kuomba mm. alone. Mm. How do what will I do when I come back? Sintaingia jela sasa. Watu watanisu. Niko na mapesa zao. Ndeenda wapi hata vitu za nyumba sina? And the shame. And the shame. <laughs> Ningasema you know what? Screw everything. I have to survive. So tukakaa na umsichana like the first day the second day then i noticed she didn't want to take me out she didn't want to you know they used to go to all these very big clubs they'll go out all these private private parties very big with very big men mm. so there will um sana nika notice at some point she does not want to take me she does not want to expose me a lot so i was like what is the reason why is it that you don't want to take me? Me too, I want to make money. I need to make money to go back home. At this point, I've seen a passport. I lived illegally for two years. Now, I've got to ask you this one in Nigeria. And the money? You are getting enough? No, 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 no. At some point, it's deeper than that. I don't know how to explain this to you, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain this to you. It's deeper than that. So, eventually, the madam of the house, I can eat a candle. Kanyambia, come. Akanita kwa bedroom yake, I'll never forget. And she was like, sit down. She was like, uh, anikamu explain here everything that I'm being in Drakanza. You don't want to go home. And kanyambia, I can't go home with nothing. I need to make money. Kanyambia, you will make money. A lot of money. Being a Kenyan. And you're in a foreign. And Nigerians, they love foreigners. Hey, you'll make a lot of money. <laughs> I was like, okay. Akanyambia, but... Do you know they might use you for rituals? I was like, what do you mean? Kanyambia, things as you see them here is not the way you think. And um, all these girls that are here, they are protected. Are you protected? Because that's the reason nobody wants to take you out. You're not protected and now you want to go out. I not want a hand in it. So that's why everybody in the house was like, I can't take this one out with me because she does not know anything. She's not protected. So I was like, um, so this protection, how do you get protected? He said, you know, you have to go and see a Sangoma. You have to go and see uh, a witch doctor, a Mganga. Mwenyata kupika, akupike, akupike, upikike, ndiyo. Mwana umeote kwanza kikuona, the other thing, mainly, at its for protection, for your own protection. You say there's do's and lots in this country. You can just come. And I was like, you know what? You guys watch too many movies. Come back watch any mchezo. I'm like, no. Easy bit was they exist. Easy bit zinakuaga if if you believe in them. So you know that that saying, mm. and your people, everybody says, yes. if you believe in these things, that's when they, 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 come, true. they come true. If you, that kind of thing. Mimi can be with Madame by the Mimi. I grew up in a in a Christian home. I don't believe in these things. I've never seen them in my life, and uh, I don't believe atazineza nishika Mimi sababu. It's just not in me. Mimi, by the way. Uh, Lynn, I was naive, na ile ignorance. Staki kwa mimi, by the way. Mm. Staki kwa mimi, hizi vitu zina exist. Wow. I'm like, ni watu wachini kuwatch movies mm. mob. Mm. It can't be true, it mm. can't be real. No. Mi venye nimezaliwa and in my family, I've never seen these things. So, apana. So, ni kambi umama, you know what? Me, God will protect me. Mimi mungu atani protect hivyo hivyo venye niko. So I hit the streets. I hit the streets the way I was. And in my stay there, I, I don't even know how to explain this. I don't, I just do niko ambeni. What was a normal day like for you? <laughs> um, a normal day, I'd be sleeping the whole day. And working at night? Yeah. 
a normal day and I um, with only one month uh, month? yeah I would uh, miss ja graduate I uh, may graduate to the point of different different men and I even when I was doing it I used to do it like I'm dating I want somebody to take me out for dinner for you understand so I'm still following mm. I don't know how to that's how and you can do this thing on my clear, my consciousness. <laughs> how do I deal with these things at night when I sleep even? And, and, you know, uh, what wengi they don't know, but people drink, people get insel- themselves in drugs because of pain and because to hide. To hide what they are yeah. they, they going through. Yeah. So you started drinking? So I started drinking. Becoming frustrated, nikaingia depression, depression ingine, I was living a reckless life. Ile, I, I wish I was dead. I used to tell people, I, I wish I died. I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of suffering. I never got any love. I never, this ndoyu sasa ni mejaribu undoi, mekata ni mejaribu ingine. No, I'm like, I'm tired. I'm tired of this life. I don't want to live again. Are you missing your kids? Are you trying yeah, to of talk course. to them? Yeah, the whole time I kept on. By the way, that's the only thing that gave me strength. That's the only thing that gave me strength when I was there. If I to my babies, they know I'll be like, oh, I need to go back home. Otherwise, I would, there was nothing. That, if I didn't have my kids, I would have never come to Kenya. I came to Nigeria, by the way, because eventually I was able to make uh, um, a bit of money nikaanza kulipa madeni zangu the my the people that i was owing oh, so now you finally have a phone you are talking yes, to people back in yes i started Kenya. yeah i started paying off my debts preparing myself to come back home like it was not easy if i want to come back home something will happen how much would you make in a good like in a sorry to say but in a good day according um, to you i would make like sometimes it depends because the currency, the Nigerian mm. currency, is not so good. In Kenyan in, currency, in Kenyan currency, sometimes, on a, I, I didn't used to go out every day because see, just away your lifestyle, ya kwenda kupati kila siku. So my, you know what I look for weakness yangu. Niki pata pesa hivi, don't go jamake o pesa ishe. I will now go back to the streets again mm. because I'm not used to doing this thing. Mm consistently every day you every are not day a regular. yeah so but whenever i i i was fortunate so i used to get people used to spend money nigerians are very rich let nobody fool you uh, one single nigerian and is annoying kenya mzima by the way so on a good day i'll make maybe like fifty thousand wow. i'll make a hundred thousand kenyan shilling mm-hmm. it used to be good and sometimes but sometimes pia it's not also good yeah and it's all about connections mm. as well mm. you can't just go and start going you need people who will connect you mm. to all these big people mm. and all so yeah i used to make money but <laughs> i was selling my dignity and i don't i don't have a choice the position that i am right now i don't have a choice i have to survive i have to take care of my kids so, sir, what turned everything around is when I met this particular guy. He was a very rich guy, very, very extremely rich. And I had something I used to do with guys to get more money from them. I'll hold myself a bit. You understand? I'll let you take me out for dinner, for lunch. <laughs> Other than just going and opening and my legs at once. Right. So I used to do that a lot, try and keep relationships kidogo kidogo. Mm. So in the course, I can just call you, you know, I don't have food. and Because I've tried to keep relationship kidogo. Mm. So eventually I met with this guy. He was very interested in me. He was even talking marriage to me. And I had not slept with him. Sababu. Kuna wale watu utapatana na nao, you'll try and hold yourself a bit and uh, you understand, yeah. Mm. So I was like, you know what, this guy doesn't look like a bad guy. And eventually, after taking me out for dinner, maybe once or twice or thrice Mm. like that, we ended up doing the deed. Mm. We ended up sleeping together. Mm. 
when we slept together in the morning I just went back home going home I remember you know what they call sleep paralysis mm. it's like you're yeah. in a dream but, but you can't yes. open your eyes yeah. and you're having a very bad dream mm. for the first time I experienced that that night the first night when I woke up I was my period my period was coming out and to my thinking I just seen my period like say two weeks ago heavy and I was like you know what uh, I think it's just maybe uh, my patterns my hormones or mm. something mm. I waited until in the evening in the evening ikanza sasa kutoka ni kama it's not normal period the heavy one Amaile. Like blood is coming out like when you cut them to you. Mm. Then I realized something is wrong. Something is amiss. My friend akanyambia, you know what? Uh, just sleep over it. Kesho, let's see how it's going to be. Mm. When I slept lean in the morning, when I woke up, I couldn't wake up. I couldn't open my eyes. I was so weak. Siezi tembea. Looking at my dress hivi ile asubuhi kwa mka hivi nikapata damu imejaa hivi kwa mattress. A lot of blood. I was like what is happening to me? Sasa si the madam of the house akaitwa. I remember when venye alikuja kanipata hapo kwa kitanda with the blood everywhere. Alisema they've already used this one. Hey, me, I remember I could hear them on the background. So I was sick. Who are they talking about? Akasema, ah, huyu ametumiwa. They've used this one for rituals. What? And I could hear it in the background. Sayo, by the way, do you know? Ile, when you in my sleep, do you know, I, instead of uh, praying to God, ati, ani, ani, ani okoe, ani fanye, I was praying to God to take my life. Oh, wow, hold on there, Jane, uh, because I feel like we cannot finish this episode right now, and I want us to continue and not rush you. So, guys, we'll have to take a break on this one, and we will be right back on the next episode after this one because I really want to understand this whole story and I know it's not fair for us to rush Jane with her story. So far, let me know what you think about this story on the comment section below and we'll be right back with part two of this story. <laughs>